Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and today we're going to talk about canes. And as always, after you get done watching this YouTube video, you can access the free quiz that will test you on this assistive device. So let's get started. When you're studying these assistive devices for exams, you want to make sure that you know those key concepts about those devices, such as canes, crutches and walkers. And in our previous video, we talked about crutches and in our next video, we'll talk about walkers. So for canes, you wanna make sure that you're familiar with how a cane should properly fit a patient, how to actually walk with a cane, how a patient should go up and down stairs with a cane, and how they should get up from a chair or sit down in a chair with a cane. Therefore, let's start with the proper fit. How do you know as the nurse that this cane actually fits your patient? Well, before a patient uses a cane for the first time, it has to be adjusted. Most canes can be adjusted at the bottom by sliding the cane into location of where it should go to fit the patient. But once the patient is holding the cane or once they have the cane standing beside their body, how do you know it actually fits the patient? Well, there's two ways you can tell. The first way is that the top of the cane, which is about this area here should be even with the great trochanter. The great trochanter is a prominence of the femur. So that top of the cane should rest about right there whenever the patient's standing up and has the cane beside of them. Or the top of the cane should be even with the wrist crease that is closest to the hand. So those are two ways you can tell. Also, whenever the patient is holding the cane, the elbow should be flexed at a 15 to 30 degree angle. So those are some things that you can look for as the nurse to tell you that this cane properly fits your patient. Now let's talk about how a patient should walk with the cane. Before a patient starts using their cane and practicing with it, you wanna make sure that they are wearing a gait belt for safety. In addition, you're going to stand on the patient's weak side in case they lose their balance. So whenever they start using the cane, they want to make sure that they're in the proper position. The position that they want to be in, they want to make sure that they are positioning the tip of the cane at least four inches from the side of the foot and they want to hold the cane on the strong side of the body. So remember that, the cane needs to be on the strong side. Very important concept to remember. So how are they gonna actually ambulate with this cane? Well, to ambulate with the cane, what they're gonna do is they're gonna move the cane with the weak side together forward. So they move the cane along with their weak side together then they will move the strong side forward. So how does a patient go up and down the stairs with a cane? Well, the concept is the same, like how we learned with crutches. Remember, I told you to remember up equals good, down equals bad. And what we're referring to is the good leg going up first, which would be the strong leg, versus whenever we're going down the stairs, it would be the bad leg that's gonna go first, so the weak side. Therefore, how do we go up the stairs using that concept? Well, what the patient wants to do is they want to hold the cane on that good slash strong side. Then they're gonna move the good leg up onto the step and they're gonna put weight onto the cane and then move the cane and the bad leg up onto the step. Now to go down the stairs, the patient again is going to hold the cane on the good side, that strong side. They're gonna move the cane down onto the step with the bad leg. So the bad leg is going down. Then they're gonna move the good leg down onto the step. And lastly, let's talk about how a patient will sit down and get up using a cane. To sit down with a cane, the patient is going to back up to the chair until he fills the chair with the back of the legs. Then the patient will allow the cane to rest on the side of the chair 
and place both hands on the chair's armrest and place weight on the hands while keeping the weak leg extended out and bend the strong leg to sit down. To sit up with the cane, a patient is going to place the cane on the strong side and lean forward in the chair while keeping the weak leg slightly extended forward. Then the patient is going to push down on the cane's hand grip and the chair armrest and then put weight on the strong leg and stand in position with the cane. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to take the free quiz and to subscribe to our channel for more videos.